I'm going to show you how to create and manage linked text frames in Affinity Publisher for iPad. I have here a three column text frame, which I'm going to select using the move tool. Once selected, a small blue triangle will appear on the right hand edge of the frame. Single tapping the triangle allows me to draw out a new linked text frame. By creating a linked frame, any text that would normally exceed the bounds of the frame will instead flow seamlessly to the newly linked frame. I can continue to create additional frames by selecting the last frame in the sequence, single tapping the blue triangle, and then proceeding to draw out a new frame. Publisher will remember the previous text frame style. So as I draw out this new frame, the frame will also be split into three columns. For this example, I want the new frame to only be a single column. So I'll go to my text options and under the column section, I'll reduce the number of columns to one. Now, if I draw out a new linked frame, the following frames will also be created with a single column. With my frames in place, I can then choose to locate and place my text. So I'll select the place tool from the tools panel, locate my text file, which is a docx word document, and place the file into the linked frames. Once placed, we can see that the text now flows through the series of linked frames. Alternatively, instead of drawing out linked frames and then placing the text content, the document may instead have text frames that contain overflowing text. If I turn preview mode off and scroll through my document, we can locate a frame that has overflowing text by simply looking for a text frame that has red circles along the frame's edge. We have one such frame here. So I'll select the frame once again using the move tool and instead of a small blue triangle on the right hand edge of the frame, we see a small red triangle in its place. Similar to the blue triangle, by single tapping the red triangle, Publisher allows us to draw out a new linked text frame. As our original frame already contains overflowing text, when drawing out these frames, the text will automatically flow into the new frames. You'll notice that with my preview mode toggled off, when I select a set of linked frames, we can see a blue arrow between each of the linked frames. The blue arrow, known as the text flow indicator, indicates the flow direction and order of the linked text frames. We can toggle this text flow indicator on or off by going to our view options and selecting text flow. With this in mind, we can then make some changes to our text positioning by inserting some column and frame breaks. To do this, I'll select the frame I wish to edit, position my cursor where I want to insert my first break, and then tap menu, insert, breaks, and select column break. And we'll repeat this for each column. Similarly, I can reposition my cursor into one of the single text frames on the right hand page, go to insert, breaks, and select frame break. And we'll repeat this for each column. With my text positions altered, we could also make changes to the linked frames order. So I'll select the last frame once again using the move tool. And once selected, we can see at the end of the text flow indicator line, where the indicator meets the frame, there is a small blue triangle. We can single tap this triangle and then single tap the frame to detach the frame from the sequence of linked frames. Detaching the frame won't delete the content. Instead, the content will remain in the previous frame from within the sequence. Instead of simply detaching the frame, we could undo by using a two finger tap. We could select the frame's contents, long press over the selected text to bring up the text options and choose cut. We could then detach the frame and paste my text back into the now separated frame. This will ensure no matter what changes I make to my sequence, the last text box will remain unaffected. And that's how to create and manage linked text frames in Affinity Publisher for iPad. Thank you for watching.